This video is for demonstration purposes only and is not meant to be a how-to video and anyone that attempts to replicate this process takes responsibility for themselves and their property and I assume no responsibility for the actions of others. This process is poor man's nitric acid made in situ meaning that it's made in place at one time as the process goes along okay and what I use for the process is a solid nitrate sulfuric acid tap water and of course your material that you're going to be dissolving now this process generates toxic nitrogen dioxide gas and is toxic and poisonous it's also corrosive so this should be done in a fume hood or outside in a good breeze always wear your safety gear and remember that no respirator will filter out nitrogen dioxide gas now what I use for a nitrate is I use um, high yield brand nitrate of soda and I buy this at our local seed and feed store um, it's uh, it's like seven dollars for four pounds I mean it's not too bad a trade-off when you're considering the price of nitric acid. Um, my source of sulfuric acid, my sulfuric acid is um, Liquid Lightning Pro drain opener and this is a very good source of uh, sulfuric acid because it doesn't have any dyes and uh, from what I can tell it's just 96% um, concentrated sulfuric acid with no additives no inhibitors, no dyes, anything like that. It's basically just a clear liquid of concentrated sulfuric acid. Right, for this video I'm going to be dissolving the base metal from uh, trimmed uh, fingers. And uh, so um, let, me get, uh, let me get started with this. Of course we're going to be using some tap water. Um, you know, I don't think that uh, using distilled water or deionized water is necessary because there's no silver involved. Um, I, I can use this process with silver, but you have to use distilled water or deionized water for that, or you will create silver chloride in the process. Okay, so here's a quick rundown. Okay, I've added the tap water to my beaker. Okay, volume is very important because water can only hold so much dissolved salt. Okay, so we're going to be adding salt to it as a nitrate. And we want to dissolve the base metal that's there. So, after the uh, amount of water is saturated with salt no more will dissolve so it doesn't matter if you add more acid it doesn't matter if you add more nitrate um, once the volume of water is saturated with salt it won't it, it just stops dissolving it won't dissolve anything else so you have to start the process with this in mind you want to add enough water to absorb the salt now as much material as I have in here is going to be more metal, it's going to create more salt than this amount of water is going to be able to hold. So about midway through this process I'll have to remove um, the solution and replace it with fresh water and fresh acid. So keep in mind that if you add too much of either sulfuric acid or you add too much solid nitrate 
you're just going to be wasting chemicals because there's only a certain amount that it's going to be able to hold in the end. So you want to be as frugal as possible and still uh, get the job done. So I'm going to be measuring out some, uh, some chemicals of, and this is how I do it personally. Now everyone else's process could be different. You have to use whatever suits you best. You know, uh, different nitrate salts. You can use potassium nitrate, sodium nitrate, um, just about any other nitrate except for calcium. I don't recommend calcium nitrate because calcium nitrate, when added, when you add sulfuric acid to calcium nitrate dissolved, it forms calcium sulfate, which is basically drywall gypsum, and uh, it's it's a solid. It's a fluffy, pearly white. Uh, solid and it just messes up everything so just stay away from the calcium nitrate okay so um, heat is required okay you want to start out by heating your water so we're going to turn this on okay now it doesn't have to be hot to start the process but it has to be hot for the process to continue okay so for this amount of water and I know that it's not um, accurate amounts and I don't try to because chemistry is not my strong point but um, basically what I do is, is for this amount of water and I'll probably add another 100 mils or 200 mils of water to this as it goes along I, uh, I take my my sulfuric acid source I measure up one hundred mils. You want to add this slowly. With this volume of water, it's going to heat up, but it's not going to heat up drastically. You want to add slowly. Give the water time enough to absorb the acid. Now, depending on what may be in your material, um, you may see a reaction start. Uh, this is, it's not actually dissolving anything. If it's got some uh, lead solder in there or something like that, the sulfuric acid will react to the lead. Uh, dilute sulfuric acid will, it causes a little bit of a reaction, but it's, it, it, it's just a superficial reaction. It's not really dissolving anything. It's just enough to make a few bubbles. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, at this point, you can go ahead and add your nitrate because it's not going to react until it gets hot. So, you know, you can check the temperature. Um, it should be a little warm from adding the uh, sulfuric, but it's not going to be hot. Okay, so. Um, we got our nitrate of soda. I've got a small beaker I use for a scoop. And that's the way I measure. So uh, you just go ahead and add that nitrate in there. All right, now this is a, a 50 mil beaker. For this amount, uh, I go ahead and I add a hundred 
uh, mill volume of dry nitrate. So that'll be two of these beakers full. And like I said, this is not exact measurements because I'm not really that good with chemistry. But this is what works for me. Now this is a lot of nitrate salt. And like I said before, when you saturate this, this amount of water, the action stops. So you don't want to over saturate the solution with salt right off the get go. Now, at this point, nothing is actually happening. Okay, because it has to get hot. So, now, we're going to put our, going to put our watch cover on. Okay, so our heat's on, our chemicals has been added, okay, um, the nitrate is dissolving, okay, and we'll start seeing a, a reaction here in a few minutes, and I'll be back when the reaction gets going real good, because right now it's, it's nothing happening, and it's going to take a little while. So, we'll be back once the reaction starts. Okay, so we're about 10 minutes in. Now I've got the fume hood uh, on to to uh, to move those fumes out, and as we can see, we've got a, a good um, uh, reaction going here. Okay, we've got the the green color is telling us that copper is in solution. We got the red fumes up here at the top, so that's telling us we're generating um, nitrogen dioxide. Okay. And we got the reaction bubbles coming up and down here and the solution's not even hot yet so it's just warm enough for a little bit of reaction to take place but as this heats up down in the bottom the reaction will get more vigorous and it'll start generating those tiny little bubbles all in there and it'll it'll really be uh, it'll come to a, a rolling reaction here a little bit but it's a very subdued type reaction, um, so it's not really that big a risk of a boil over, where it's just going to foam up and boil over. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I like this process. You you pretty much you can set it and forget it. Come back a few hours later, check on it, and um, you know if, if the reaction has stopped or slowed down too much, you can change it out, replace the chemicals start back over again but it's a it's a lot cheaper than nitric acid and for those of us that can't get nitric acid or nitric acid is just too expensive to use this is a cheap alternative and that's why it's called poor man's nitric acid okay so it's been an hour and um, the uh, the reaction is is going strong. So now we've got reaction bubbles. We got this small little small reaction bubbles going. It's it's telling you that it's uh, it's dissolving the base metal, and um, you can see the gold foils is being released. Um, you know you got foils that's just uh, flying around in there, and uh, this will proceed the way it's going now, um, and and either um, one of two things will happen: either the base metal dissolves and the reaction stops, or the solution gets saturated and the reaction stops. So, you know, it's not like it's gonna. You can mess this up. You you really have to have some kind of bad mishap for this to go wrong and whereas you got AP AP will take you know weeks and you can get this same amount done in, in hours and it's a process that you know I've been kinda keeping to myself I don't I didn't like to share it but uh, you know I've used it 
I've, I've been using it myself and I thought it was time to share um, so this is uh, this is one that's nearing completion now so you know you can see that the fingers is almost completely stripped and the gold is all floating floating on top and so um, basically when it gets to this stage it's just uh, a filtering out the gold and uh, rinsing off the fingers and, and and pulling it out and you're left with uh, a mixture of copper uh, nitrate and uh, copper sulfate and uh, eventually I'm going to start reclaiming both of those chemicals back out of this solution right now I'm storing it um, in poly drums but uh, I'm going to be reclaiming both the, the nitric and the uh, the uh, sulfuric acid back out of this uh, this solution and uh, this has still got some ways to go because you can still see plenty of gold on those fingers but there's plenty of gold in there flying around so uh, we're going to just end this here and uh, and this is the process that I use to make poor man's nitric. As you can see, it doesn't dissolve any gold. It's basically just a solid nitrate salt and sulfuric acid and tap water and of course your material. And it works for any gold plated material. Um, anything that nitric acid will dissolve uh, this will dissolve. So, you know, copper, um, brass, bronze. Of course, the bronze is going to leave you with some uh, metastatic acid. Uh, that's a totally different uh, thing to deal with there. But it will dissolve, you know, uh, stainless steel, magnetic material. Uh, basically, like I said, anything that nitric acid will dissolve. Uh, I think it even dissolves the nickel because of the sulfuric acid. So that's an added bonus to it. But we're going to go ahead and, and finish this up. And uh, like I said, this is, uh, this is for demonstration purposes only. If you decide that you want to do this, you know, you'll, you'll do it at your own risk. I accept no responsibility for anything anyone does uh, on their own. Uh, I don't recommend anyone try this. Uh, so, you know, if you do it, you're just, you're going to be doing it um, on your own.